In this video, guys, I want to talk about why I switched to a larger battery in my Honda. So initially, the Honda Element, as well as other K-series engine vehicles, um, the Accord, the Civic, CRV, etc., they came with a Type 51R battery. And as you can see in the picture, the Type 51R battery is not a very big battery. It is really, really small. And this is kind of a funny story. One day, um, a neighbor came by as I was working on the car, and he goes, man, that's a really tiny battery you got in there. And at first, I thought it was kind of a stupid comment, and I was almost a little offended, like, you know, hey, Honda knows what they're doing, you know, don't put down Honda. But then when I kind of got over it, and I was, you know, a day later or so, I was like, man, He's right, that is really a small battery. So I started poking around. And you know, I had been having problems with uh, batteries. This is more when I lived back in California. Batteries only lasting about three years, two and a half to three years, which is short for me because I take really good care of my batteries. So I started poking around and I found a YouTube video and I also found guys on some Honda forums talking about putting in a group 35 battery, and that's what this is in front of you. This is a Group 35 Titan by Exide. And what I essentially did is I took out the old Type 51 battery. I took out the battery tray. I kind of made some modifications to the battery tray. I put in one of those absorbing mats that absorbs battery acid. I put this one in, and I put in a custom bracket. This is an adjustable bracket, so this one adjusts for height as well as width. And these are probably like, you know, 8 to $10, but they're really nice. They really hold the battery in super secure. That's not going anywhere. And so anyway, guys, I just want to let you know that I've had great results with this. And I suggest you guys look into it if you have a vehicle with a very small battery. And it's usually going to be a four-cylinder car. In other words, you know, you have a car or an SUV that was originally manufactured in both six-cylinder and four-cylinder versions, and you have the four-cylinder, and you got the little tiny battery. And especially if you live on the East Coast, you know, your battery's dying every two years because it's so cold. So anyway, um, I would say in that instance, if you're in a situation like I was in, go ahead and look into getting a larger battery. What I would try to do is to try to find another owner who had already done the modification, right? You don't really want to be the first person trying this, but I would say go ahead and see if there's somebody else who's already done a similar uh, modification um, to put in a larger battery. I made this, made sure that this Group 35 had similar cold cranking amps. You know, I'm not an electrical engineer. I'm not sure it really matters because it's a 12 volt, you know, voltage source, but this one has 525 crank, cold cranking amps. And the one it replaced, the little Type 51, had 500 cold cranking amps. So you can see, you know, it's very, very similar. So I couldn't fathom how this could damage the vehicle in any way. And obviously, it's, I've had great results with it. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. Hope you guys are doing well, and I will talk to you guys in the next video.